flows. Love is nourishment in itself. Love is the nourishment for soul, just as food is to the body, so love is the soul. Without food, the body is weak, and without love, soul is weak, and no state, no church, no vested interest has ever wanted people to have strong souls because a person with a spiritual energy is bound to be rebellious and your so-called religions and their preceptors do not want man any person to be rebellious love is the art of nourishing oneself there is no art because there is no need of any effort love is the nourishment love is spontaneous it is natural but humanity has been so confused by its leaders that one does not know the most inner realms of one's own being love is nourishment in itself the more you love the more you will find untrodden spaces where love goes on and on is spreading around you like an orb. But that kind of love has not been allowed by any culture. They have forced love into a very small tunnel. You can love your wife, your wife can love you, you can love your children, you can love your parents, you can love your friends, and they have made two things so deeply rooted in every human being. One is that love is something very limited. Friends, family, children, husband and wife. And the second thing is they have insisted that there are many kinds of love. They have divided into love into different categories. Love makes you rebellious and revolutionary. Love gives you wings to soar high in the sky. Love gives you insight into things so that nobody can deceive you, exploit you, oppress you. And the priest and the politicians survive only on your blood, they survive only on the exploitation. All the priests and the politicians are parasites living on the ignorance nourished by your ignorance. You love in one way when you love your husband or your wife. Then you have to bring another kind of love when you love your children and another kind of love when you love your elders your family your teachers and then another kind of love is for your friends but the truth is love cannot be categorized in any way Love cannot be categorized the way it has been categorized throughout the entire history of mankind in all the cultures. There were reasons for them to categorize it, but their reasons are ugly and inhuman. 
because in this categorization love does not exist or they have killed love love cannot be categorized it is the inner blossom the reason why all the cultures have insisted on categorization is because they have been very much afraid of love each one of us is afraid of love your priests and politicians are more afraid of love it is so because there is no because if there is existential love then it will it knows no boundaries love has no boundaries no limitations then you cannot put hindus against muslims muslims against christians protestant against catholics then you cannot draw a line saying that you cannot love this person because he is jewish chinese or anyone the leaders of the world wanted to divide the world but to divide the world they have to do the basic division and that categorization that division is only of love through love you can divide the society love is the nourishment for the soul just as food nourishes the body love nourishes the soul love is the inner flowering inner blossom it is when the seed of awakening the seed of the existential energy begins to grow and transform then it blossoms into love without food body is weak and without love soul is not only weak it is undernourished it cannot blossom its beauty and fragrance cannot spread no vested interest has ever wanted the people to have strong souls a person with spiritual energy is bound to be rebellious he has his own thinking way of life love cannot be categorized it is unknown it is unseen but realized truth just as you cannot categorize god into categories but over the and history of entire humanity god has been divided this is the god for hindus muslims christians jews can the electrical energy we categorize that there is a different energy for different categories of the people you use laptop you use phones they are not made for based on the nationalities not on the religious belief system there is no laptop that is made for hindus christians or anything it all depends upon how you program it to fulfill your requirements a person with a spiritual energy 
is bound to be rebellious. So you make your computer system or the phone to fulfill your requirements. Love cannot be categorized and when it blossoms, it provides nourishment to your entire being and in fact, love is nourishment in itself. Enough for now. Thank you.